Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. Today in front of me is this uh, little electric drill from Ryobi. Uh, I've had this for at least the last 13 years, uh, as far as I remember, but it didn't work for at least the last five years or so, and it was just sitting in a drawer. And I didn't throw it out because I've always knew that it was uh, need in need of a battery, and uh, not until recently that I somewhat got into batteries and I finally decided to change the battery that was inside so this this is the lid, the cell that's inside it's a, sig a single 18650 cell and this one sadly is uh, dead and uh, I've also had this little power bank that I never use it was also sitting in a drawer so I've recovered the 18650 cell that was inside of it I've also tested it and I found out that the uh, capacity is still good it's quite 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 good really better than advertised because from this little thingy there you go you have the capacity of 2200 milliamp hours and I've tested it to be at least 14, 12. So that's quite good. It's 100% capacity at least. But first of all, I'm gonna assemble all of this. So I'm gonna start with the negative lead. And I just cut off the uh, nickel strips that were originally on the battery itself. There is there is still good amount of space to be uh, used on the battery on this new battery. So I'm gonna keep to keep those. So these nickel strips are actually too thick for this little machine to handle. So then, then I'm gonna solder my own nickel strip to this, to the battery and uh, to this little lead like this. And that's gonna, that's gonna do nicely. I think just one centimeter strips are gonna do. Alright, that's not going anywhere. Now to the battery. And that ain't going anywhere either. So that's one side done. also solid so there you go I've charged this battery some sometime two weeks ago I think and it's still 
holding good charge so that's good Alright, so that's finally sitting in place. Let's test it. Seems good to me. Alright. Now let's see if it charges. Yes, it, she does. So there you go. Uh, you think that's what you call recycling. If you have one of these and it's, and it's not working anymore, you should not throw it away. Uh, you can even recover, for example, batteries, uh, 18650 cells from old laptops and, and stuff that you maybe you haven't used a lot or they just haven't seen enough use if you can notice battery laptops are always connected even the ones that were detachable from back in the day so uh, most of the time they, they kind of work perfectly so with that said uh, if you have any kind of electrical device and it, it's not working after uh, let's say three years that's usually the amount of time that a battery uh, lasts so uh, you just need to open it up uh, see what kind of battery it takes there's different sizes in the in all kinds of on all kinds of shapes and uh, you can order a battery on the internet or, or even recover it recover it from another device that's broken install it and that's gonna bring back life to your device and this is gonna come in handy uh, quite a lot so i hope you enjoyed until next time this was the electron age bye